side and you want to cut it in half on the wide side. Set it off to the side. Okay, next, you're going to want to, where's my fork, my spoon, there's my spoon. You're going to want to take your spoon, carefully use it carve out the inside of your potato. It's kind of like doing a avocado. Scrape the some out. Excess. So you get like that. You want to do that with all of them that you did stuff like that I get rid of doesn't need to be in there anyhow all right so I got rid of that just like before cut down one side cut down the other side just like an avocado takes out the insides Scrape it out just a little bit. You gotta be mindful not to break your uh, your potato skin. little piece for me to cut out. I've got them all in here. Now 
Now, if you're wondering how to make a baked potato, most people, I guess, pretty much know how to make a baked potato, but what I do is I wash potato really well and get all the dirt off of it. And then I wrap it in a piece of tin foil. I'll wipe this off real quick. And then I put it in the oven at about 500 degrees for about an hour. And then either eat it right away or let it cool. Okay, so, you know what, about know, four tablespoons of butter, two to four. I'm gonna melt it. That is, but it's coming off. It's got to be part of the paper or something. It's a three. That's close enough to four. So I'll put my butter back off to the side. Need my towel. So I'm gonna microwave that to melt it. There's my paper towel. Most people don't do this when they microwave butter. Put a paper towel over the top and keep it from splattering. Okay, so while that's doing that, got my chives, and uh, that's about a tablespoon or two, we'll put those directly in. Salt, about a tablespoon. That's about a tablespoon. Pepper, however much you really feel like. I'm going to do about a tea, teaspoon or so. It's a lot of grinding. Melted. Nothing even splattered either. That's that's kind of cool. So you're gonna put your couple of tablespoons of butter in. Gotta love bacon. Any kind of bacon bits will do. Yeah, that's like a quarter cup. Somewhere around there. And I want to put cheese in also. About a quarter cup. Big handfuls. There you go. About there. And you got to add sour cream. However much you want. Close to about a quarter cup is what I'm using, I guess. Quarter cup of almost everything. Hey, look at that. Okay, now let me grab my uh, masher. Masher, masher, where are you? This. That does 
not working very well. Where is my masher? Just use my whisk because this is not working the way I wanted it to. Okay, so we gotta mash it all up real well and then mix it in. Now another thing you're gonna want to do is probably preheat your oven to. I don't know, 350, 400, somewhere around there. So preheat your oven to about 350. Potato masher always works better for this, of course. Or maybe you can put your potatoes through a ricer before you even get to this point. Anyhow, the point is, masking the potatoes up well enough to become kind of a paste. And it's almost done. So... out of there. Alright, now I'll go back to my spoon and I'll mix it up a little. Okay, now that that point is done, I'm going to get your spoon again. all your goodness out of there. I'm gonna taste it. Tastes perfect. Alright, so easy part. Let's put it back in. Now it's okay to mound it over the top a little bit. Not very much. You don't want to pack it tight or anything. It's about like that. Not too high. Let me move this stuff out of the way really quick. Okay, so, just want to put them on your pan. All of these have already been cored. I did that prior. So, just keep filling them up until you get full of them. Should take about one full spoonful for most of each of them. After you've gotten all of these filled up, easiest way of doing it is just put directly in the oven. Or you can put the tray in the freezer like this. After you top it with a little bit of cheese, and you can freeze them and then put them in the baggies. And then make, you know, three or four of them for dinner or whatever. But You can top these with anything, doesn't matter what it is. Now a lot of people will want to put this in like a, a food processor or something of that sort and make it, you know, mush. But then it really has no texture. Yuck. So, I like the rough chops. got 
a few more of these to fill up. And what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to put them in the freezer so that they can be ready for when I want to make them later. And you just take them out of the oven, put them in. You, know, you can microwave them until they're hot, or you just throw them back in the oven until they're nice and hot again with everything all melty and gooey. And that's probably you know, 20 minutes. At about Last one there, and it is full. Alright, so I'm going to take these, I'm gonna put them in my freezer so they freeze, then I'm going to put them in bags. And in about an hour and a half, two hours, those will be frozen and they'll be in baggies. So, remember, set the oven at uh, like 350, 375, 20 minutes, microwave for like five minutes, something like that. Um, hope you all enjoy that little recipe. Have a good night. One last thing I forgot to cheese them on the top. If you want cheese on top, that is. No guarantees it'll freeze and stay on there. But, try, nonetheless. What I'll probably do is I'll probably press it down a little bit. It'll probably get stuck on there. Somewhat. There we go, twice baked potato. Going back in the freezer again. Alright, y'all have an enjoyable night.